Hey guys. It's a rainy day and I wanted to show you the books that we made again. These are so independent that not everyone knows that we made them. So I want to make use of the of the rainy day to record a little video showing the books. So we crowdfunded these. First volume came, came out in 2016 and it was planned as an ebook and it eventually spiraled into a huge project and like through a miracle, through an absolute miracle, we were able to fund the printing costs, which wasn't planned, which wasn't expected. I had actually planned to do this as an ebook and it would have been completely fine for me. But yeah, we had the great luck that this whole project got a lot of momentum and we ended up printing this in, a, in, in an amazing quality. Like it was for like for an indie release, this was absolutely, I'm still amazed that we could print this book and the second one. But yeah, first book, 2016, it's mostly about botanical species, 20 species around Trichocerois pachanoi, like all kinds of plants from the San Pedro complex. We also brought in a few more that we felt like would look awesome in this book. So, you know, it's a little bit bigger than it was planned. This ended up being 400 pages. Mostly about botanical species. Descriptions of botanical species, how to identify botanical species. Botanical species in South America, like in Peru. This book is only a botanical book. This book has is nothing about ingestion. This is a purely botanical book. And we tried to include all the botanical little details that we could find. We included like local populations, for example, from Ecuador, from from Peru, Chavin, everything that we, we could find, we put in there. Yeah, it has description of the flowers of every species, photos of the flowers of every species, photos of the fruits. Then it has chapters on how to distinguish different species. This one here is the population in Chavin. Absolutely amazing photos. I'm very proud. I'm very thankful to all the people who donated photos for these books. Species in Ecuador. How you can recognize this, the Ecuadorian forms. Then there's a chapter about Chile. I want to say it again. A lot of the Chilean... Pachanoi are grown like in pots and everything. It's not a widely distribution that this species has in Chile. And that's what's written in this in this chapter. But yeah, then we have the Bolivian versions, which are heavily influenced by Trichocerois brigesi. These are basically short spine brigesi. Yeah. A little chapter about PC, but it's really nothing. I just wanted to put it in, put a few photos of this of this clone, and that's it. Tom Jules Giant, Peruvianus description. This is really the result of like my whole life as a breeder, and my whole life as a as a cactus guy. Lots of amazing breeders are present in this book. These are from Miss Plant. Cactus Affinity. Britain and Rose original description of 
Trichocero is Macro Gonus. A huge article on Trichocero is Macro Gonus and why this name is problematic. Trichocero is Cuscensis. How to identify Trichocero is Cuscensis. And I gotta say, a lot of people identify everything that's more spiny with Trichocero is Cuscensis. This book will help. It will really help. I mean, there are many plants that are similar to Trichocero is Cuscensis that are actually something else. And that's in this book too. For example, Trichocero is Schöni. But yeah, lots of descriptions. This is a population in Bolivia. That's Isla del Sol. This is, a, in my opinion, this is a new species. And everyone should at least check out these photos because they are awesome. The Chucero is Brigesi in Bolivia. This is a huge book. I'm always amazed when I, when I look into it. Scopolicola, Huanucensis. Knutianus, Tarmensis, differences between Tarmensis and Knutianus, Pukiensis, Schöni. This is a lot of stuff, guys. So, yeah, this is an amazing book. I'm glad that we made it. I don't know if we could do it today in today's climate. Probably not. And I'm currently working on the third and final volume and we can probably finance the printing costs but once again this would be super heavy, super difficult. This is independent publishing, self-publishing. Every book is shipped out by myself like they are signed by myself and these books allow us to continue doing what we do. Like the new, the new book is going to be huge it will bring in all the changes that have been made in the last 10 years since 2012 or so. Genus Trichoceros will be included, like the new Trichoceros genus, the way it will be in the future. Sörensia, Leukostele, and that will be a huge project. I've been writing on the third volume for like, I don't know three four years and i need another one and i write every day but yeah now volume two i want to show you this one too this is about hybrids hybrids clones and commercial cultivars has a main focus on hybrid breeding how to breed hybrids different genera that you can cross with trichoceros and yeah, lots of commercial cultivars. Like mutant clones. And it also has a lot of hybrids. This is Pachanoi crossed with Kleistocactus. The hybrid called Goldschuppe by Rolf Autenried. Incredible, unique hybrids, uni un unique plants that I think will not be seen in such a book again in the future. Simply because this is the result of like 15 years of hybrid breeding. I was only able to make this book because I basically know every breeder that's around. And they all allowed to, so I can include their, their stuff. And it's absolutely amazing. Check this out. Second book has 300 pages. All color pages. This isn't like black and white with like mostly text and three, four photos. This is all color pages. This is basically a A4 coffee table book.
all kinds of amazing hybrids. Very proud of these books. Best thing that I made. Both almost killed me. Making these almost killed me. I was so burned out afterwards because it was so stressful. Like the financing, the whole, the overall shipping. Every book is is written, printed, like not by me personally, but I arranged the print, and it is shipped out again. Like every package that goes out is shipped by me. So yeah, I just wanted to share these with you. I wanted to show them because every now and then. I am reminded that I'm also making like books, you know, that I'm a breeder most of the time, but I'm also writing books and I want people to know that these exist. These are amazing. They are not cheap simply because the printing costs were absolutely outrageous. But yeah, you can get them on my website at trichocerois.net. I will put the link down in the description. And yeah, check check them out. Subscribe to the newsletter because there's a discount for subscribers. And yeah, looking forward to making the third one and the final one. I don't think I'll make a book after that because it's just too much work. So yeah, check them out. Thank you for tuning in. Take care.